What celebrity um, that has DM'd you has you the most shook? Y'all is so nosy, but. <laughs> What's poppin'? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Pyra. That bitch, the fuck? No, I'm playing. I'm playing, but no, really, I'm that bitch, okay? So, anyway, it's gonna be a drive with me today. I'm drinking this watered down ass. McDonald's coffee because all the Starbucks ones is closed, but this one is from yesterday No bullshit though. I had to get used to the McDonald's coffee because clearly Certain Starbucks only want to be open, but It's cool. It's cool So yes, this is gonna be like a drive with me juicy Q&A question and answer because I haven't done one of these I never do uh, Q and A's on my channel just because I don't know. I'm afraid what y'all gonna ask, but I'm the type of bitch that I'm gonna give y'all the tea because like I'm a real ass bitch. I don't be like like only certain stuff I keep to myself, but the relatable shit like I'm gonna tell y'all like because there's no like secrets over here, sweetie. So I mean there's some, but you know you know what I mean. But anyways, so yeah, if you're new here, hello, my name is Kyra. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. Well, literally just Instagram. I have Snapchat, but I don't be on it. I'll be on it sometimes, but not really. But make sure you follow me on Instagram. Okay, sweetie. Thank you. So anyways, I'm just gonna play some tunes. What the fuck is wrong with this light? I've been here for a good 10 minutes. Shoot. My outfit is so fucking cute today. Like, oh my god. So cute. Red Papa Smoke. It's crazy that I fell in love with this man um after he died. Ain't that some shit? That is crazy, but R.I.P. <laughs> Who are you a brand new whip just hopped in? Do y'all like these glasses on me? I think this is a vibe right here, sweetie. Like, don't talk to me. Like, don't talk to me. You're too close. Probably got coronavirus. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay? Before I motherfucking sanitize that ass. Okay? So, I did ask y'all to ask me a couple questions on here on my Instagram. So, I seen some juicy ones that I'm gonna answer. Cause this is like a juicy one. The regular q and I'ma wait like a bigger one. But today, I just wanted to answer like a few. And don't mind the rain, y'all. It's disrespecting me right now. But... A lot of y'all ask about Nurse Bay. Y'all ask a lot of shit. God damn. Why did I not screenshot the good ones? First fight. Y'all, I think I want to do a story time on that because I only got into one physical fight. And the fucked up thing about it is she was my friend. Like, it was the first, my first fight, my first ever fight. So, let me know if y'all would want a story time on that because that shit was crazy as fuck. Like, I didn't even think that shit was going to happen. But, yeah, let me know. My first fight, it was crazy. I didn't get my ass beat. I'ma save everything for the thing, but I didn't get my ass beat, okay? And that's period. Hmm. What is your favorite sex position? Ah, shit, y'all is crazy. My favorite sex position? Ooh, it gotta be, it gotta be riding. I swear, I be like, Cause then he be sucking on your titties and shit. Like, don't even get me started. Cause I'm not even getting them right now. So I'm not even finna go there. Okay. So don't get me started. But yes, I love Brady. And I like getting hit from the back. Cause I like touching his balls and shit. I don't know, that shit turned me on. But anyway, next question. <laughs> Y'all's crazy. Story time on how you lost your virginity. My B 
card. Okay, I'm gonna do a story time on that. Let me know if y'all want a story time on that. But it was definitely with my first boyfriend. Where's Zodiac sign? I feel like I said that. I feel like y'all know this. I feel like y'all know I fucking hate Pisces. That's the worst ever fucking sign I ever fucking dated. Like, God, please don't do it. Please don't. I'm on like a I don't know what I want. I want whatever Lauren London got, whatever Sierra got, whatever they niggas is. That's what I want. Period. That's what I want. What was your best and worst relationship and why did they end? That's another story for another time. I haven't been in a good relationship. I feel like I that's what I'm craving right now is a good relationship with somebody. Like I really want to be like friends with them first and then get into you know that relationship because i want to gain like that that bond you know so that's what i'm i really i haven't been in a good relationship a healthy good relationship no because i'm that's why i'm fucking single so yeah hopefully one day but all my relationships are trash okay do you want us to jump nurse bay I, it was a couple questions in here about nurse bay did you hear from nurse bay yet how's love life after nurse bay fails sis i'm rooting for you to find your person why did you take a shower in your nurse bay house so fast so it was a lot of comments saying like why would you take a shower over there woo, woo, woo. but y'all i work at the hospital so i don't like even at home i get in the shower right away because i don't like all that stuff on me and i don't like chilling in my work clothes where i was just in these sick people rooms no so that's why i took the shower at his house and he went to walmart to give me some pajamas and I just wasn't comfortable. Like, I don't sit on people's furniture when I'm, like, got all these germs and shit on me. No. Like, I'm not doing that. That's why I took the shower at Nurse Bay House. It wasn't because, like, I wanted to get naked or something. It was because I wanted to get all that dirt and shit off me, you know? But whenever I get a man, this is the song I want him to play. Because I feel like, like, he's going to know all my hurt, my pain, everything. And he just going to be like, this is needed me baby i'm here for you i'm here i'm here now you now you need me do you need me on nurse bay so basically i seen him no i didn't see him face to face but my friend we were walking past like we was going um to go downstairs to get our stuff because we we're about to leave and there's like a cafe where you pass to pass it up and I guess he was sitting in there. She was like, oh my God, there he go. But I didn't see him. I didn't look at him, nothing. I just walked past and she said she seen him. But he didn't see us. He was looking down at his phone. So no, I have not seen him. But what's crazy is I was assigned to his floor on Friday. And I did not see him. So yeah, I don't know. I'm really just, I don't know. I just want to see what he going to say to me or nothing. He hasn't text me on call nothing. So I don't know what his real intentions was with me so but it's all good like god will really show you who's supposed to be there who ain't and he wasn't supposed to be there so anyway these are all for my bitches in quarantine right now if that nigga did not check up on you see if you needed groceries bitch you was by yourself in that period fuck that nigga up mm -hmm. now that is over stop calling me come pick up your clothes uh, you gonna always have yourself what i had to accept a long time ago you will depend you will have to depend on yourself depend on nobody literally go hard like it was a question in there that said like what makes you go me go hard and keep pushing towards my goals and stuff because like all i have in this life is me and i want more in this life and i want to give myself the best life i don't want to depend on no nigga i don't want to depend on nobody i don't depend on nobody i depend on myself me myself i we all i got is me I literally drive my me every day is that i got myself i will i don't want to disappoint myself so that's like my number one drive is myself to give my give me the best life possible okay yeah so what do you what do you do if you have the perfect thing that had goals money attractive but dick was small <laughs> y'all i had small dick before like i actually prefer small dick oh y'all i gotta ask y'all a question okay so 
Okay, yeah, I prefer, I like small dick, okay? Like, I don't get it all the time, so my little cat is a little tight, tight. So, she can't be handling too much dick, okay? Okay, so, okay, recently, one of my dude friends, he's from my hometown. Recently, he been trying to hit me up and stuff like that. We talked a long time ago, like, way long ago. Yeah, ended up getting a girlfriend, which is cool, because I had got a boyfriend. You know, we had like this nice little relationship, but we never did nothing. We never did nothing. I've never seen his wang wang ever since recently. So he sent me a little dick pic. Y'all, like, I think it's too much dick for me, sweetie, because I don't think, like, have y'all ever got a dick pic and was like, no, nah, I don't think I can do it. Like, I don't think I can do it. Like, is that, has that ever stopped you from talking to Y'all, like, I'm scared. Like, I'm really scared. That's a motherfucking horse dick. I want to show y'all so bad, but I don't want to expose him like that because he knows I do, does this. So, but yeah, he's so he's so cute. He's so sweet sometimes because he don't be, I don't know. But I don't know. Like, I don't, even, I don't know if I can do it. I ever had a one night stand? And y'all are some freaky ass motherfuckers.
like I love it I love having people wondering what the fuck is going on and I just want to be like I just wanted to just be me and my man and I said have you ever had a threesome if not would you <sighs> no I have never had a threesome and honestly like I don't know like it would just I don't think so I don't think I'm like no i'm too sensitive for that because if you like go ahead and go on with somebody no i i won't be able to take it so i'm not no i'm not that freaky favorite group to drink and live with i love getting drunk and live with the bitches in atlanta which is jasmine my favorite girl jasmine i'm so like blessed to have her because she is literally like my one friend that i really like okay like i cherish like the people around me but she literally introduced me to all the people i talk to at this point because you know i'm from racine so i love getting to live with her because she's so much fun like she literally is always down for whatever and i just love her like so much and she like she's not a complainer like she always be down whatever like i just love that i love chill bitches like but i love like chilling you know i love getting in love with them like her her friend morgan like all them in atlanta like it's just a vibe and i miss kenya how's your car i just can't wait to move to atlanta because they just don't give a fuck they move. it's just vibes okay sis you got your new car yet unfortunately i do not have my new car yet just because i'm still you know this quarantine shit is happening so i'm just want to wait until the quarantine stuff is over but in the meantime i am searching i don't want to get the mercedes benz cla anymore because it's just so small like i think i want a truck like i think i'm i want a truck i'm literally looking at the audis um i'm really falling in love with the audi q8 like i don't know i'm just gonna work hard until quarantine is over because I want that motherfucker. That motherfucker's a bad bitch, okay? And I need to be in that motherfucker. What's the hardest thing? What's the hardest part of being known in a small city? Do you receive more love or hate? Um, so like a lot of bitches say they don't like me, but a lot of bitches do watch my YouTube channel and I mean, they tune in. But I really don't take it personal. Like, I know bitches. I mean, I don't want to say people are hating or anything like that. Because I don't like using that word. I feel like nobody is hating on me. I just feel like they're like, damn, why is it her? Like, why is it not me? Because, bitch, I spent a lot of time growing my following, doing all this extra shit, prioritizing my time. Like, no. Like, it is. It, this was not an overnight process. This was a lot of work put into this, sweetie. Like, I work hard as anybody else, any other 
influencer or whatever so yeah it's, it was definitely not an overnight process okay. and I think when people see me out it's a lot of love but it's weird because like people will show me a lot of love on the internet and then like cause one time I went back to my hometown I vlogged it, it was, I was in an orange shirt cause my one friend birthday and I seen these girls that's always on my uh, Facebook like saying oh my gosh she a bad bitch I love her I love her what a goo so I was like I'm gonna buy y'all a drink and that's how I am though too like if I'm with my friends or whatever or if I'm with bitches like I went there by myself but I'm just saying if I'm around bitches that I know of course I'm gonna buy you a shot I'm gonna buy you a shot it ain't shit like to have a good time you know but I was waiting for them to get they shot the bitch gonna walk away and then she started talking shit the next day to my lash tech like girl what okay and bitch no nigga bought you a motherfucking drink so i was just trying to help you out so but yeah it's a lot of hate but i don't care it's a lot of it's a lot of mix i but i really ignore the hate i really don't pay attention to anybody hating because I acknowledge all the love that I get and everything that I'm doing because a lot of people acknowledge me when they see me in person but it's, it's a lot of people that look at my shit on the what did Cardi B to say? it's a TikTok it was like um Cause it was like, um, shout out to my haters too, cause y'all be downloading my shit, and that benefits me, bitch. Like, so yeah. Ever been pregnant? No, I never been pregnant. Do you still talk to a person who sent you the box of roses? <laughs> y'all is nosy. Do you still talk to the person who sent you the box of roses? No, I don't because he's an asshole. Okay, he's an asshole. How does it feel to be a bad bitch? It feels great because I get whatever the fuck I want and I'm in control. No, I'm just kidding. I just love being a bad bitch. Like, it's not even about that. It's just about feeling good and just living carefree, not giving a fuck when nobody says, walking in with your head held high, confidence on a fucking 10. Like, nobody can tell me shit. Like, I don't give a fuck. People say my head is big. People say my eyes are fire, And so what? I'm going to steal that bitch. I'm going to still get dressed and get cute. And you still going to look at me. And you still going to double take. Okay? So, I don't care. I'm so loud right now, but... Hello. Hi, sir. Hi. I'm filming my drive with me. I'm answering some questions. Y'all shine just arrived. What? I'm finna finish these questions while I sit here. Um, what's your PO box? My PO box is in my Instagram bio. If you want to send me, send me whatever. I don't know any of those sites. Worst sex experience. I don't know if I should say this. Should I just say it? <laughs> that I might edit that out, but yeah, that shit was nasty. Hey, babe, I know you love bad bitches, but have you ever tried anything with one? I'm getting a lot of questions about did I would I ever date a girl like woo woo all this lesbian shit? No, I don't like girls. I'm strictly dickly. Would you ever consider an open relationship? Fuck no. You're not bringing nothing back to me. Okay. This is probably going to be my one of my last questions. What celebrity um, that has DM'd you had you the most shook? Y'all is so nosy, but I don't, I'm not going to say his name, but I'm, I literally was so shook because, um, I wanted to date him. He was so fine to me because I love dark skins and I'm not going to name all the other descriptions because y'all going to know who it is. And um, he's basically, he that nigga. He's that nigga. And he's the one that got me the box of flowers. The, uh, what is this called? The, the Venus floor flowers that's in my, on my room. The pink one that y'all just asked me about. 
do I still talk to him? No, I don't. He was an asshole. But, yeah, he was the one that had me the most shit. And he'll probably be back soon. Um, I'm not rushing it, but he was an asshole and I had to step on his neck for the one time. So, But we would talk all the time. I gave him advice about some shit and he used that shit. Like, I wish I could tell y'all. Like, I wish I could tell y'all, but I can't. Back up on my bullshit. Back up on this. I can't wait till you come over. I'm not sober, so. Why is all y'all asking me these lesbian questions? You don't need to be tired. That's you and me tired. So y'all, this is probably gonna be the last song because my camera is dying and this thing is duct taped to here and I'm vlogging today so I brought an extra battery. So that's gonna be for that. So are we doing some? I don't this shit, I don't be on Spotify like that. I don't know how to work this shit. What go to search. Okay, y'all, my camera literally just died. So we're gonna end this video off. Well, yeah, I love y'all so much. The difference between a home